Check this out, guys. I just built a personalized meal planner web app that whips up a weekly meal plan based on your diet and budget, and it's even complete with recipes and even a shopping list. And here is the best part. I didn't write a single line of code to make this happen. And if you're wondering how this is even possible, it's all thanks to Hostinger Horizons, which is our new AI tool that's turning ideas into apps in absolutely no time. And if you you want to see how I did it and how you can build something just as cool, let's break it down together. So first off, Hostinger Horizons is our new AI powered tool that lets anyone, and yes, I literally mean anyone, build custom web apps without having to actually write any code. You just chat with the AI, tell it what you want, and it whips up a functional app in literally minutes, which is complete with real time previews. Now, I just wanna talk a little bit about why AI web app builders like Horizons are such a big deal right now. Well, guys, for years, app development was logged behind some pretty high walls and building a web app meant you needed serious coding skills like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and maybe some backend know-how like Python. And if you didn't have those skills, you were either paying thousands to hire someone or just watching your idea gather dust. And we built Horizons to change that. And the big standout here is our one-click deployment since we handle the hosting as well. So you can take your app from idea to live on the web with just a single click. No extra steps or or no outside platforms required here. And that's a hassle-free experience that is yet to be matched. And with Horizons, what used to take weeks or even months now happens in literally minutes. No servers, no APIs, no debugging nightmares because our AI handles it all. So you can focus just on your vision. Now for entrepreneurs, this means launching an MVP faster than ever to test the waters. And for hobbyists or small businesses, businesses, it's a chance to just create something useful without breaking the bank. And by the way, if you're thinking about giving Horizons a try yourself, make sure to join the early access by grabbing a Horizons plan on our landing page by clicking the link in the description down below. And also, if you use the coupon code HZN10, you'll get an extra 10% off your purchase. So just a little perk for checking this out. And if for any reason it's not what you expected, don't you worry because we've got a 30-day money-back guarantee policy. It's all about making it easy for you to jump in and start creating. So why not just try and build something? Okay, but now enough chit chat guys, let's get to actually building the app itself. And today we're building a personalized meal planner app, just like I mentioned in the beginning, which helps people save time and stress by creating a weekly meal plan tailored to their diet and budget. No more staring at the fridge wondering what to cook. I mean, we've all been there. Okay, so the essential features we are going to need is a form where users enter their dietary preferences, a weekly budget, and a number of days they want the plan for, and a button to generate the plan. And of course, an output showing the meals, recipes, and a shopping list, all within, of course, the client's budget. Now let's jump to Horizons and see what we can create here. So the first thing you're going to see when you get into hosting your horizons is this little interface and where the AI basically asks you, what do you want to create? And here you'll just have to enter a prompt of what you want to create. So I already have a prompt pre plan here, but you just customize it to whatever you're going to be creating. And once your prompt is ready, just hit this little arrow button here or just click enter and your app will start creating. Now, uh, let me me tell you a bit about the interface. So here on the left side, you're basically having a conversation with the AI and this is where you're going to write all your prompts. Now here, as you can see, the AI is explaining step by step how it's creating my app. So create a clean, modern interface, add meal planning functionality, all this stuff. It's telling me live what's it doing. And at the bottom, that's where you'll be writing your prompts to talk with AI, basically like talking with a person kind of. And on the right, there is this sandbox where basically you will see the preview of your web app and everything is happening live. Uh, so whenever you type a prompt and tell uh, the AI to fix something, you will see it happening live in the sandbox over here. Here we have it, a very simple version of a personalized meal planner. And as you can see, it already included some dietary preferences. We have pretty much everything we need here, a weekly budget,
budget, number of days they want the meal plan for, and a generate meal plan button. Honestly, pretty good for, you know, like a basic thing, but obviously we will be adding many more features here. I mean, the dietary preferences, in my opinion, are pretty good. We have vegetarian, vegan, keto, budget is displayed in dollars as well, but I kind of want to add a gluten-free option to the dietary preferences as well. So let me just type it out real quick, add a gluten-free option to the preferences and I'm gonna prompt the AI to do just that and let's see quickly what it can create for me. And there we have it. We have gluten-free on the dietary preferences as well. Now, weekly budget, all good here. As I said, it's displayed in dollars. You can pick whatever budget you want. Uh, I like the number of days options here as well. Um, I think everything is pretty much all good here. So let's test it out. Uh, I'm going to pick a dietary preference vegetarian, set the budget to 100 and number of days to seven, and then just hit generate meal plan. Now, as you can see, it gives me a very general kind of meal plan uh, thing here. It has the prices of each item over here. Okay. So also at the bottom, you can see a shopping list, which is also included here. It's also pretty generic. So uh, let's add some features to this meal planner app. So the first thing I want to add here is I want the app to provide me with actual recipe options, more recipe options for my meal plans. So I'll prompt the AI to do just that. So as you can see, it's adding more diverse recipes, maintaining all the budgets and all of this stuff. All right. So now let's test it out. So I'll pick a vegetarian, then set a budget to hundred and keep it at seven days. And there we have it. Lots more meal plan options. We have now a lot of other products as well added to the meal plan and also to the, to the shopping list. So this is pretty good. We are getting somewhere, but there are still other things I want to add here. So what can we do? So what really bothers me is that the shopping list is kind of on the bottom and it's really general and it kind of displays the products for all of the meals at once, whereas I want it to be next to each uh, and every meal on my meal plan. So I want it to be on the right side. So I'm going to ask AI to do just that. Let's prompt it real quick here. And there we go. And there we go. Now we have a fresh shopping list for each and every meal and it's on the right side, real convenient for the viewers. Honestly, love this kind of list out here. We have eggplant parmesan and then we have the ingredients right here. Really convenient. We also have the calories and the price over here. So yeah, overall, this is coming together pretty nicely. Now, another thing that I really want to include is instructions on how to actually make these recipes. I mean, we have the ingredients, but how do we make them? So let's ask Horizons to include instructions next to each meal and include the exact recipe for each meal. And there we go. Now we have ingredients and instructions on the right side. And this is definitely way more detailed than where we started off. It's actually providing the users not only with the meals themselves, but also ingredients and instructions really convenient on the right side. So the meal plan options actually really suit me. I really like how this is coming together. But another thing that I really want to tweak is actually this information form uh, for the clients. So I think I want to include some more options here. I mean, we have dietary preferences, weekly budget, number of days, but I think we can include uh, a couple of more things in those forms just so uh, the web app can tailor a more personalized meal plan for each user. So let's do just that. Okay, so I'm gonna just ask the AI to add an age section in the questionnaire. Also, I would like to see a gender section. I think that's important for a meal plan. And also, I think I will want the AI to include weight and height as well in this section so the it can tailor the meal plan better to each user. 
And one last thing I want uh, it to add to this form is a goal. So basically, what's the goal of the client for their meal plan? Is it to lose weight? Is it to build muscle or something else? So let's include that as well. And there we go. This looks way more personal. This looks way more tailored to each client. And that way the meal planner can give way better results to each client as well. So let's test it out once again. So let's pick an age, let's say 24 female for gender. And as you can see, you can pick the weight in kilograms or pounds and also the height in inches or centimeters, which is really cool. Then a fitness goal over here. I mean, it did everything I asked it to do. So that is really, really good here. All right, so let's now enter the weight here. Let's say 53 and height as well. And we're gonna select our goal and our goal is to let's say build muscle, our dietary preference. Let's go with vegan this time and a budget as well. And there we go. You have, I have a muscle gain meal plan for myself, tailored with meals, with ingredients, with instruction on, on how to make the meal. And this is actually really, really cool. Uh, it also says what the meal plan is customized for. So it's customized for your high protein meals with complex carbs. Now, this is getting way more personal and that's a result of us adding more personal settings to the initial form. So as you can see now, now this is something that is actually becoming really useful and actually works. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with what we have right here. So, I mean, of course we can add way more options, make it even more personalized to each client. But I think for this example, I'm just going to leave it at this. And another thing I really want to do to this app is make it more visually appealing because I mean, it's pretty basic now with really basic colors. So let's make it pop a little bit. So I'm going to ask the AI to make it a bit more modern, add bold headers and add some nice popping colors there as well. And maybe also make the overall aesthetic a bit better. <laughs> And there we have it, a personalized meal planner that now looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. It has some purple colors, it has some nice headings, everything just looks much more clean. Uh, let's just test this one more time and see what design differences it made to the actual meal plans. And whoa. This looks way, way nicer and way more aesthetically pleasing. I mean, of course, there's still so much more we can do. We could add interactive buttons. I mean, it already has some pretty nice elements like this little fade on this button when you hover over it it has this little white fade i mean overall this is pretty great as i said we can continue putting in more elements customizing the design and lots of other things honestly the possibilities with horizons are really broad and there's a lot we can do here and this is just I would say even the minimum because there's still a lot more to be done, but we did make a really cool basic personalized meal planner app here. So overall, this app is great and I think I will leave it at that for today, but a couple of other things that I want to show you just before we get to deploying the app is first off this little microphone thingy over here. So basically, if you click this, you can talk into your computer after you allow the microphone permission for your computer, of course, but you can talk into this and the AI will just hear your voice and all of the words that you say will come up here in this section. So instead of typing them out, uh, they will just appear here as you see them. So, I mean, it can really come in handy. And also right next to the microphone, there is this little clip thing. Basically by clicking here, you can import any kind of visuals. So you can maybe import a picture or a chart or anything else and why it is good to do this is basically to give a, the AI more context on what you want. For example, if you see like a design you like, you can put in a picture there and tell AI, hey, do something similar to this. So this is basically 
to give more context to the AI. Now, these features are pretty useful, but now let's actually deploy our app. So to deploy our web app, all we have to do is literally just go into this top right corner, click deploy, and that is it. And as you can see, your web app is currently hosted on a temporary domain, but still accessible to everyone if you wanna share it with someone and just test it out. And you can also connect your own custom domain name to the web app fairly easily in the websites tab of the H panel once you're ready to do that, of course. But right now it still has the initial temporary domain. Okay, so now we've deployed our app, but let's say I wanna tweak it later on after some time and make some changes. Well, that's not a problem. Just head to each panel and on the left side, click websites and then website list. Then find the app that you've built and click on edit. And you'll be back in the really familiar interface of Horizons where the chat history is all saved and you can make more edits if you wish. Now. For example, here, let's say I wanna change my website from purple to pink. So I'm gonna prompt the AI to do just that. And there you have it. Now my website is pink instead of purple. And of course, don't forget to hit deploy as well once you make any changes so your changes actually do deploy. And well, that is basically it. You just witnessed hosting your horizons in action. And we just walked through how to build a web app from absolute scratch without any coding. And honestly, it's pretty amazing to see an idea come to life of that quickly. And whether you're dreaming up a meal planner like we just made or something totally of your own, this tool puts the power in your hands without any developer skills needed. So now what is your next big idea? Drop it in the comments because I would really love to hear your ideas and what you're planning to build with Hosting Your Horizons. And also make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to Hosting Your Academy so you don't miss out on further Horizons content, which is just around the corner. Now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.